Hello everyone, this game's from Welcome Back to Sound. Today's video we're doing some more rogues, and actually we're gonna rog out today, so we're playing the main character rog. Uh, I'm gonna show you my talents real quick. Using Tainted, Seal, Monster Hunter, Bow Talent, and also the Magic One Right Heal, which gives me more power scaling. Using the crossbow for my active talent, which should be pretty good. My equipment is decent. I have nothing crazy, but it's very expensive. I did have this helmet that was B tier, I upgraded to A tier. Gives me some power pole level. I think my gloves or something gives me some stats too. I do have the solar stone that has gives me a sun drop chance and a lot of purification and XP multiplier. My best actual modifier, by the way, but it's legendary. Everything else is like common and all like rare modifier. And then obviously I have like negatives too. So I have a lot of like uh, defense reduction, which is not good. Alright, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get this run going. Regular B rank run with uh, starting corruption 10 yo. Let's have a good time. Uh, let's do Pine. Uh, huh. I, I wanna do Dawn Forest, I'm thinking. I like Pinewood. I do. It looks the best to me, but I like the upgrades you get in this area a little bit more. Although, some of the upgrades you do get in uh, Pinewood is good too. Um, that is projectile, does critical damage, we should get it, there we go. Uh, fray in a bottle, more health regen, drop chance goes up, but corruption goes up too, okay. Make that weapon up again, we're doing a lot of damage already as you can tell. Uh, defense and damage, mitigation, which will probably give up defense later on, so it doesn't matter too much. Here we go. I wouldn't expect our damage to be anything crazy compared to the last run. I'm gonna use my active skill again. I don't know if I actually used it. No, I didn't. We don't have enough yet, so we have to kind of wait it out. Um, my damage went down actually. That's interesting. Uh, pawn take damage increase your base defense by two for three seconds. Let's go ahead and get that. It's a one of one uh, skill. Uh. I want to kill some of these guys because they give good experience, but I don't want to get hit by me though. Size up, more power, multiply, projectile size, and knockback. Okay. I'll take that. Going in. I'm not one shot him now though. So what I'm saying. Ooh, they halt. Yeah, my defense is terrible. Uh, base power, base defense, kills and goes up a little bit. Really good upgrade. It's a common upgrade, but still gives you damage, right? At least it doesn't take multiple hits to kill him. It takes like, what, two? Sometimes one, three at most. I can walk with that. It's better than like five or six, so. Um, size up again. Definitely. I want to get file cards as much as possible. And then I might do crit in this run, but if we didn't do crit in the last run, although I'm definitely okay with not doing crit too. More defense and damage mitigation. I'll take it just to live. The only thing I'm worried about is the final boss, honestly. I'm gonna go to the less to get the artifact deal. Remove the cooldown between dashes plus two dash. Thank you. That's really good. Because I do have some things that reduce the uh, dashes, so. I want this. Base gold, base critical chance, and drop chance goes up. But I want to rank up the crossbow too. Let's do clovel. Because you don't want to get in this area. Uh, what's the next box at? Up that way? Let's go to the unknown, then walk our way up. Uh, base critical chance goes up by a little bit. Thank you. Uh, base. Nah, I want Cleaval. So, Cleaval, the Spirit, File 1, and then the Purification File, Sonji thing, and then the Magic Sword, I don't remember the name of it, is a Synergy. You need like four different things to get that Synergy going. Let's get a uh, crossbow here so we can kill guys. I want to show you my active ability. Look at this. Isn't that active ability crazy? I'm going to do Defense uh, Pilsing Multiplier. Yeah. More health regen, definitely. I mean, that's so good! That might be like the most broken act active skill. Funny Mushroom, have I seen that before? Projectile speed goes down but you get more power? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, more health and health regen multiplier, thank you game. Um, I don't care about pickup range. Base power is good. I should banish things more often. Let's go up here now. Uh, you find a small village ahead. I get to pick a job to do. I've never seen this one. Increased dash speed multiplier on everything for dashes by quite a bit. The goblin one that inflicts damage based on the gold. Mushroom jelly. Uh, 75% of damage taken from enemies is solely part over 10 seconds. That's really good. Or champion fight. Either the dash one 
Wow, the dash one's really good. I think mushroom cleanup though, because you, you don't take the damage up front, and if you have like good life regen, mushroom one's the safest option, so I'm gonna do that. Right, we still had a whole active thing going, yeah. And we get a kill, but the mushrooms, yeah. More damage, reduced attack speed, and knockback, I'm gonna do that. It's one of four upgrades. More base soldiers here. Rank the crossbow up, get some more bills and damage. Uh, base defense goes up by a little bit. Crit chance, but reduce attack speed, I'll do that. Um, I'm gonna do student here so I can level up faster. More damage mitigation. Uh, candy here for XP gain, base purification. Upgrade my weapon. Oh, I should have done spiel. Base crit chance here, clove again. And then base defense goes up. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't worry about defense if I'm just gonna... I didn't see what that was. I'll look at it so I can't. Oh, uh, it's the mushroom jelly thing. Right, right, right. Okay. I, I completely already forgot about it. Uh, we need to break crates here. Wow, it's actually really good for breaking crates too. So that's easy. I need one more crate. There it is. Okay, we got the optional thing done now. We're doing really good. I want to use my active thing more often, but like it has a long uh, cooldown because it uses 600 out of my 2500 power whole time we activate it. Oh my lord, I'm actually getting surrounded too. Um, more dashes, yeah. Thank you. I need to invest in more health. Kunai, I do want that. I do want that. There's a shinnel deal with that. And then I want to get silkens too, because that goes with it for the synergy, I believe. For its but 50% chance for swordsmen to be attracted, my experience gain goes up too by 20%. Thank you, game. Upgrade my weapon again. Um, increase my base damage multiplier. I do need some heal stuff though. Rank up cleaver. Uh, let's give the unknown area go. Uh, meditate, uh, love up a card, fairy in the bottle ranked up. Ooh, it went oval. Which means we get more corruption from it too, and health regen. My health regen is crazy now. Because nobody can only have one of that upgrade. Alright, I like when things like that happen. Uh, we're fighting champions already, that's not good. I'm gonna use my active ability in this. Oh, no, we're doing a lot of damage. I can, I can't get additional projectiles. Um, okay, let's do... Candle Yo. I'm gonna wait for them all, get close, and I use my active building. Let's go. I'm gonna get fast, but yo, 33.3% chance to ignite enemies on hit, deals 30% of your damage every second for 2 seconds. The duration of all stacks is reset to the duration of the most recent application. I might increase my base critical damage here. Uh, I'm gonna get the module one too. Health regen goes up by 100% apparently, defense multiplier goes up, damage mitigation goes up too. Maybe I should keep my defense this time. Let's do size up here too. Get some power, rank up crossbow, candle. Oh, those guys are right next to me. Base power and base defense goes up. Dash soldiers, we got it. Warm gland is cool, but I'm gonna do a rarity reroll on it. Oh, that's a really good reroll. So when I pick up experience uh, orbs on the ground, there's a chance for me. Well, I get plus 0.50% for 10 seconds, kept at 52.5%. Um, I'm gonna do Rune of Heaviness here, Crossbow, the Kunai again, we're doing really good right now. I'm gonna do Fast, but this time 66.7 seconds to deal 40% of my damage every second for 2 seconds now. It goes up to 50% for 100% chance I believe. Crossbow again, thank you. Uh, Clover, so we have 5 now, gives me gold gain and all that. Um, I don't care about blunt edge. Let's do candle yo again. Crystal soul, I'm definitely doing that. It's not a projectile, but it's good. I really like that weapon too. More attack speed, definitely. So down to me, on hit by 3%. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that so we can, you know, have a way of slowing guys down in case we have a problem or something. Um, I should just get rid of that. I'm on my way. Let's upgrade Kunai out. Let's get the artifact. Uh, allows you to draw two soul cards at the end of an elite stage. That's good. Kunai again. 
What do I get you? Bonfire skin dock out. Um, let's kindle file. We get max health plus one hundred twenty four. I I should have leveled something up probably though. Overwalked. I lose max up. I get more critical damage by one hundred percent. I'm gonna take it. Now that getting like an extra rank on it would be cool. So I'm one shotting all these guys right now. I'm a bit worried about this uh, range guy. My defense is doing good. I'm not even using my thing. Look at that. Um, modified the equip weapon stats. What steps the damage reduced range though? I'm gonna do that. Thank you, game. Uh, Crystal Sword. Crystal Sword's really good once you get it going. I can't wait to see what this synergy does. I haven't seen it. Clovel, file 5. Alright. There's a lot of guys in here. Let me use my active building. Projectiles break into three small projectiles. That's like one of the funnest ones. Look at that! Look at that! Flood the screen. Oh my. Uh, more power, more defense, reduce attack speed. I'm gonna take it. I'm going up to the anvil so people know. Still can definitely grab that. I don't have any weapons maxed out. Well, I think crossbow might be maxed out, actually. I'm happy that the active talent goes to the next stage if you still have time left on it. It's really good. Feels like you're not wasting it. In case you end up using it, like, late or something. Uh, let's do student here for more XP gains so we can level up faster because we're killing a lot of guys here. I'm already level 63. We'll about to be 64 here in a moment. As long as we don't die to the boss guy who shoots projectiles, which, by the way, the projectiles do a lot of damage, so I'm gonna get the crit chance deal. Uh, we'll, be, we'll have a pretty good run. That's how I'm feeling right now. But if I get hit by a single projectile, it's game over. That's the downside, yo. I need a shield. Like, something that can take damage for me. But he shoots so many projectiles, you, you just need to avoid it. It's not hard to avoid it, but sometimes you can make a mistake, you know? Uh, I need to kill these guys because they give so much experience. Base power and base defense goes up. Thank you. Wow, we just one-shot that guy. The fact that we're one-shot guys this early with, like, starting the run of corruption on, too, feels so good. Feels really good because normally I don't start the runs of corruption at all. It's very dangerous to do. More power, do that. I'm gonna take Fortress, we get 309% defense now, and we have 12 more base defense, okay. We got a reality reward too. Um, be a good event. Oh, it's just a kill area. Alright. That's fine. Holy Convulsion. Convolt 25% of your corruption into final power, 10%. Final power, final max health, 50%, and final health regen, 10%. Okay. So you just get a bunch of stats. That's a really good upgrade, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Thank you, game. Look at that, we're going in. Oh yeah, 58,000 damage already. Yep. Almost one shot him. There we go. We just do a lot of damage. Look at that goblin, he's so cool. Uh, crossbow's maxed out now. I should've done foul spell though, honestly, but I want to get weapon maxed out for when we go to the anvil. Wow, they do a lot of damage if they get up on you. I need to get that thing where I can heal for my weapon doing damage to guys. There we go. That guy has a regen thing now. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, I, I feel really confident with like basic enemies right now. Clovel's maxed out, thank you. Doing really good. Uh, that guy died. There we go. I want some, like, stacking things now for killing guys. If we could get one of those, we'd be going in. I guess I could have done some reality rerolls on, like, the crossbow or something to get more cards, you know? I'll take the Q9. Let's do a reality reward, though. Great. Upon picking up gold coins, increase your gold gain by 0.25% for the rest of the stage. Capped at 40%. Alright. Um. I want to go yield and across them, though. Because then we fight a bunch of guys. Ooh, a bunch of champions. Look at this. I don't even have to use my active ability. Although I probably will use it here in a second, just so it doesn't fill up all the way. More power? Definitely. The more damage you do, the easier life is, man. Bosses do have shields, though. We have to break the shield down to get to the next phase, which is annoying. 
I wish he could just like one shot the boss you now without it going into like some facing. So you notice you have overlooked and patience, you have crit chance and critical damage still increases over the full 60 seconds of a stage, that's really good. Um, I want I want blood force though. On kill, increase your power multiplier by 1.50% for 2 seconds, up to 75. That's really good. I'm going to do that. Because then we do a lot of damage. I want the other one too, don't get me wrong. But, that's just really good. Hopefully I come up again. Ooh! 1.50% now. It's like that didn't really... It, maybe it was 1, but no, I thought it was 1.50 before. I don't know what increased on that one. I know that next one upgrades it to like 2%. Uh, basic critical damage goes up to 200%, 25% upgrade. Oh yeah, I used my active ability. Look at that. I love the active building. Uh, let's get more crit chance here. I'm gonna get this so we can level up. Almost level up, actually. Uh, gets one free reroll every time you enter a card selection. That's cool. Max out the crit chance upgrade right there. Damage mitigation will be good. Um, I'll go yell, then go across. Alright. Uh, Cleaver. Maybe I should pick the last upgrade though. Bizzo's epic, and it's a one of one. But, you know, do what you want to do. I think this is a swarm one. I really like the swarm events. Also, I use my old again. Uh, Kunai. Oh, we're going in. Cleaver. More max health, definitely. Wow, see my health ball? Went up by a lot. Oh, so many guys just dead. I wonder how many kills that gets me. Uh, dash cooldown goes down. Let's do shell can yell. Nice. I need to max my weapons out. I'm really proud of the damage we're doing now. For like, starting with corruption and being in the full stone still. Really good. We normally have a rough start. Spike shield. Um, actually I'm gonna do a ready reroll. File coin. More base corruption. Reduce purification much well, but more gold. I'll take it. We have already 22,000 gold. 23,000 now. I don't like reducing my purification multiplier too early on. But it's all good. I might be level 80. These guys are surrounding me too. Uh, Kunai is maxed out. Oh, they killed me. Might use my uh, active thing yet. Really help me out, as you can tell. Cleavel, 5 out of 7. Battle of Upkin. Uh, 60% but minus 19% range. Ooh. Actually, it doesn't sell a negative, but I would imagine it's a negative. Yeah, because it doesn't sell a plus either. Yeah, okay. Ne negative 19% range, so instead of the 10. Uh, automatically attracts 50% of all left little children's food and gold coins. At the end of a stage. Um, upon picking up a void magnet, increase your pickup range by 20% for 25 seconds. I'll go ahead and get that. I probably should get the penetration one now. Let's go to the anvil. I'm, I'm worried about the boss. Yeah, I am. Limit break service. Oh, I can do full smaller projectiles? I should do that. I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna level up. Oh. I didn't know it could go to... I saw that maxed out as two. Huh. I'm gonna do crystal salt yo. So down the means by 50% now. I still not reward that. But I'm gonna get these things. There we go. I just got more weapon upgrades. Shell comes in cleaver. Base defense goes up. Thank you. I have to do the altars now. Love how the shadows look in this area. Game looks so good, man. Shout out to the dev. The dev has worked hard on this game. There we go. Gotta love a dev that kills by the game. Also, I do have a playlist for this series of the runs I've done. Just so you guys know. Let's go ahead and get this other one out. Uh, okay, we're good. Oh. Nice. Also, if you haven't seen the last video where we popped off of Gunslinger, you have to check that out. Most damage I've ever done in a run. That thing was broken. Like, oh my lord. I should kill these guys for experience, and then we should go get this thing done. The boxes are tankier than these guys, that's funny. Making my way. 
So my dash charges don't recharge that fast. And I need to break... I'm uh, So I know I can kill the boss fast, right? I'm worried about the shield. Because he shoots so many projectiles and he teleports back and forth. If I just use my active ability, maybe I can just, you know, get out get out of it. I saw he was going to be down. Okay. Alright, we're good. Use my to build again. Wow. I don't like him teleporting like that. Okay, we killed him. I I don't like when he teleports to the side of I, I, Come on, man. Handle shield will increase the choice count by uh, card effects by one. Um, More damage, more knockback, reduce attack speed. Lunar Stone. Oh! That's that's a moon one. So we have the other one on. We have the shoulder one. And look at the modifile. It gives you defense. A lot of defense stats. And it's a legendary modifile. That's crazy. Um, I want to do Ember. We did Behemoth the last three times. There was the Anvil in the middle. Usually it's on the left. It's in the middle this time. Okay. Um, I'm going to get my boxes. There's so many boxes over this way. I'm going to go this way. Boxes give you a 100% chance to get an artifact. Uh, that's fast to pick up brand shield. I don't need projectile size and multiple, although it could be good. Um, let's do shulking yell. I, I love the animation for my active thing. Man, the lighting right here looks really good. When it's bright orange, I don't like it, but this right here is nice. When it's like a little bit darker. And it like the ulfy like tones like really stand out. I like that. Whoever did the artwork for the game did an amazing job. Like, the colors, like, really blend well together. Like, man, it just looks really good. And it's, like, fun. The gameplay, good. Also, the animation is short, too. Everything about the game, man, it's just, like... Wow. It's in that, like, spot where I really like the game, how it is currently. It's so good. The only thing is, I need to, like, play a little bit more. And get better modifiers for my other gear so we can have a crazy run. So we can do higher like starting corruption runs. Because you need like really good stats for that. Obviously we increased it today by 10 for starting out. Well normally I just start at zero then I build up corruption within the run of like cards. But I figured we just challenge ourselves a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more you know. With Rog too. The basic character. Um, let's do sharp edge here. Yeah. Keep going this way. Here we go. One zone two already. I mean, we're one shotting, guys. So I'm not worried about that. I just want to get more damage and just more health, I think. Also, some dash recovery would be good. Because it's really bad. I don't like the fact that all oh, items have reduced shards to them, too. You can remove a modifier, but then I would have to... It, Holds the item level needed to put it on. Which, yeah. I'm gonna get this file coin. Corruption will go up. Purification multiplier will go down by like a little bit. That's not much. Uh, I need to kill about 200 more guys. Let's use my active ability real quick since we had a lot left in it. The thing is, the experience is very spread out when I do that. There we go. Yeah, we just nuked everybody. Yeah, save up gold for the limit break silver stair. Um, upon taking damage, increase your health region by 2% for 25 seconds, I'll take that. Let's go to the chest room now. Food heals you, additional 45 health, which is 20% of your max health, I'll take it. Um, I want to do persistence here, it's the crit one, but I do want the holy convulsion, don't get me wrong. The corruption one's really good too. Like, really good. I'm gonna do persistence stuff now. I could have, uh, really rewarded one of those two, to be fair. Let's do power. Ooh, Coast Blade. Okay, we're getting all, like, the cool things now. Oh, the, yeah, this guy's way tanky. Look at the crits, though. We're actually critting now. There we go. You can tell when it starts turning, uh, the text starts changing to, like, a pink and then, like, a dark red. I love how the text shows up. Uh, 45, 40 to 45%. Now it's 6% for good damage, thank you. 
I should use my active building. Kill these guys a little bit fast though. Flood the screen. Weak point, more base critical damage. I can get one melt rank of that after too. It's like 25% critical damage by rank. Let me just uh, max out 20, uh, 250 right though. Um, let's do Cleaver Yell, get that done. I still need to get the Pelification soon, see if I can get that thing going. Plus 5 defense and 50% attack speed when moving, that's really good for me. Blood Candle's good too though, but they get base Pelification, but everything else goes down a little bit. Oh well, Corruption and enemy Count goes up. Which, having more enemies would be good, but let's take the Epic one for now. Hopefully we'll get a good artifact in this next box after we kill these guys. While well, we just nuke that guy over there. That guy's fast. Oh, holy. Like, the closer he got to me, the more he sped up. Like, yo, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. Nah, man. Nah. We're going in, yo. I'll be level 90. Thank you. I will say this run's pretty easy so far. More base power. Already hitting for over 3 million damage. Well, a total of 3 million damage. Well, not hit. It's not pull hit. Obviously, I would really like it if it was. Still pretty good damage. Definitely could be better. We don't have any big, like, modifiers yet. I think it could end up being really good. More attack speed. And we don't have any synergy weapons yet, either. Which would be, like, a big difference. There we go. Thank you. This guy's dead. I'm just trying to get the expanse. I was trying to let my active ability rebuild up too, so I wouldn't have to use it too much. Although we've made it fast now. Um, fight and flight goes up to 10 base defense and 60% attack speed. I'll steal that real quick. Give me a good artifact. The Volt Strike, okay, so when you dash you gain a Volt Strike buff for 10 seconds, having a Volt Swords buff increases your damage by 15%. Upon accumulating 5 Volt Swords, they get consumed and you gain the Volt Strike buff that increases your attack speed damage and the crit chance for 15 seconds. You cannot gain Volt uh, Swords while Volt Strike is active and you get plus 1 dash which is just good overall. Um, let's upgrade my weapon to max skill. I'm gonna go get the next box, the other we need to start going towards the middle. Upon killing an elite, increase your XP gain by 10% for 25 seconds, capped at 62.5%. Actually, I want the evolution of Voice Bro and Magic right here, because it does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna get the evolution. Then we're gonna go in. I was I was originally gonna get the XP one, which to be fair, it still could be good. Power goes down. Nope. More damage. Heavy. Most speed goes down, but I get more power by a tiny bit. Fast boots maxed out now. Oh yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage. Shotgun, thank you. Shotgun again. I want to max shotgun now if we can. Uh, fight and flight. Max you out. We're pretty much always moving. Even if we're a little bit slower now. Like I had 20 main health. More 440% attack speed. Okay. My range is actually terrible on my hits. I'm noticing that. Sunborn. Only appeals in Ember Dunes. Max health goes down, but base expanse goes up and corruption goes up. Okay. Um, more attack speed. I need to increase my range. Base corruption goes up. Defense and health goes up. I'll take that. Get that crab snap a little bit. Make it a little bit harder. Um, my crit chance goes down, but I get 800% critical damage. It goes up by 400% technically, but it, it's 800%. I'm going to do that. Absolute focus. More power. Ooh, no. Reduce enemy projectiles damage by 50%. So one of one. Only pills in this area. Really good one if you don't like projectiles. That'd be good for that full stage boss, man. Heroic so cards are 200% more likely to appeal. Ooh. Fortress, more defensive base. Yeah, I like that. Um, We can go to the shop and maybe it'll have a limit break service for me. It didn't. Well, that's sad. Tainted and normal ready so cards are 75% less likely to appeal. I'll take that. 
Bull Max Health. I'm gonna take the Penetration one, weak point. Um, Dash cooldown, that's actually really good for me. Fire wine, by that. More power. Let's move on. I need to save money for the anvil because we're coming up on it. Let's go this way. Get some tougher guys to spawn in. More power, thank you. They have mains of health for small guys. Let's use our active building. That was maxed out, so. More power. We can get one more rank for that. I love how we just flood this kind of projectiles. Shotgun's maxed out now. I need to get that sword done too. Okay, I took 11 main damage. Uh, Fortress, thank you. More health and defense, all that. Let's keep going. There we go. The Fuma Shulk and Evolution of Shulk and Q-Knight projectiles bounce off enemies into other enemies. There's 9,180 damage and it has consecutive strikes too. And that's building stuff too. Two second uh, projectile lifetime though. Well, that's not good. We gotta increase lifetime, you know? Oh my, I'm shredding. <laughs> I, yeah, this is really easy. Like, man. Uh, more base health. Okay. I can't wait until I get even better items, too. Like, we're gonna pop off, guys. It's gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna do it. I still have a lot of upgrades I mean, mini I can buy, too. They just cost, like, 40 man, so, you know. I could reduce my defense and get a lot of damage. Which is something I always do, and I think it's a really good thing to do. And I'm gonna do it. Now, you could say I wasted a lot of defense things, but, you know. Well, levels on defense things, but it's all good. Increase your final damage by 50% of your missing health, and my max health actually goes up too. I'm gonna take that. There we go. But we should have plenty of health and damage now. Let's use my active building. I'm gonna get that rank again. Increase my health. Get that. Wow, it almost helped me up to 1 to 10. Um, penetration. Ooh, God's Wrath, God's Wrath. Um. I'm gonna do penetration, y'all. So we can actually do some pilsing damage to you guys. It gave me 300 kills. Wow. This, this might be, like, the best, like, talent in the game. The crossbow talent. It's, like, so good. Damage mitigation goes up, but move speed goes down. I want that. I do want to max out my blood force, don't get me wrong. Just we're almost out of this area, so I need to get the upgrades here while I can. This is no active building yet. Thank you. Falling away, guys. Falling away. Rank 2. Oh, we can target another guy. That's good. Let me get that. Let me get that. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Another projectile. Pilsen goes up. Damage goes up a lot. Attack delay goes down. Let's go to the unknown. I was thinking of the stop bridge thing. Uh, apparently it's a stop reduce stage with comments by 35. I'll take that. Shouldering's really good. I'm gonna get it. I love shouldering. It's a projectile and it falls around and it pilsen. It makes me turns back. Um, base dash source goes up to two. There we go. Anvil's coming up too. We take completely set. Um, damage mitigation. Nice. I'm gonna use my active ability out. Sword ring. Let's get that damage up. I don't know if Sword Ring goes with something for an evolution. It definitely probably does have an evolution. I just don't know what it is. More damage reduced health. I'm going to take that. Uh, there we go. Now on kill, increase your power multiplied by 2% for 2.25 seconds. Up to 100%. That's maxed out. It just stacked up to like almost 800. Yeah. Let's get that. Easy. 
I just have to survive the time limit. Yeah. I'm gonna get as many kills as I can now. Fall off up again. Let's do this right here. My range might go down, but I get a lot more damage too. I just did 21 million damage right now. Kill these guys. Uh, soldering again, thank you. Soldering is actually one of the best items to start the game with, because of nuke scares. It's one of my favorite weapons. What's that? I'm really about to level up game. Just give me the experience. Um... Let's do boiling blood, yo. Thank you. Go to Anvil, get a limit break silver seal. Do I wanna do... Let's do a reroll. Oh. A 1 to 33% chance. That doesn't really matter, but it does 60% damage. Which is good. That's good, I'll do that. Divine Smite. Soldering, Crystal Sword. Upgrade the Shulkin. Upgrade that. I'm gonna get Fundal Spell too, we don't have it yet. Uh Wow, I just spent all my money. Maybe I still have save money. Kinda wish you could limit break multiple times. I might get the flesh one yell. Base defense goes down by get well, I don't have defense anyway, it doesn't matter. I get a lot more health and all that. Look at my health. <laughs> I pretty much doubled it. I just have to get it back now. Waiting for this thing to fill up. It's very slow. Got my tax be increased by 50% from the elixir that we bought. Get the magnet. I need a lot more experience modifier. I'll say my experience modifier on that last run that we did went crazy. We had like, what, 4,000, 5,000? It was so good. I've never had that much before. Right now, it's just very basic. That's why we're not leveling up as fast as we will when we stalled the run. Get this cactus guys out of my way. Reminds me of Final Fantasy. Uh, size up. I was gonna do the shoulder instantly, but I wanna increase my projectile, so I have some damage and all that. I think it's, it's the warm boss, which is really easy to kill. Like, once it goes into its shield mode, just kill a small worms and then kill it again, then it keeps doing that phase back and forth. It's one of the easiest bosses in the game. There we go. It's actually up here. Let me use my active ability. With my active ability, it should nuke all the small guys too. And we're just gonna be out of here in a moment. I took damage from standing on his guys that follow you around because I didn't move. That was like the fast I've killed that guy. Gain 5% of your current gold at the end of each stage. That's really good. I'm gonna do stand on my yell because we're about to leave. Ooh, I'm getting so many legendary multipliers now. Like, that's the false legendary multiplier on a like basic item outside of like the accessory. Alright, here we go. Zone 305. Let's have a good time. Um I need to look for an anvil yell, but let's get into this round. I'm gonna do blood candy yell. So on this level, well on this zone, you can get a lot of gold gain upgrades, which is really good to get. Let's get the damage yell. I'm gonna get pride, which is the way you kill elite, you get the XP gain. Up to 62.5%. Uh, let's do the synergy one yell, base crit sense goes up. Uh, let's do Tile, get more health and health regen. Upgrade my damage. Oh, I've seen the gold one right there. I can't skip past the little soldering. 5 out of 7. Ooh, plus 10 base corruption, 400% corruption multiplier, and 1000% defense shredding. Why is this guy running with me? I guess he's all active ability here too. We already did the kill limit. We're about to be out of here. Uh, let's do crystal sword here. We got them so scaled. Easy. Uh, base power goes up, base power goes up again. Like, we really just popped off in this run. Um, upon killing an enemy of foul, heal full percent of your max health for two seconds. Thank you, game. Let's go to the unknown, see if we get something good. Each candy called level increases your max health, multiply on health reach and multiply by 2%. We have a 36 bonus right now. Got boots, too. We got boots, guys. Which yeah, it has a real thing. That final power upgrade pull level is really good. 3.03 3 pull level is crazy. 
Um, go to the unknown factor yield. Those are stopped coming up too. I'm gonna increase my corruption by five. We're gonna kill the villagers and take the belongings. I get a pouch of greed that levels up 10 ram cones. Thank you. Also, they 21,000 gold. That's wild. Um, increase your power multiple by 300%. You lose 15% for each completed stage. Down to no bonus. Um, I like that. Wait, I can lock it too, though. I'm gonna wait to take it then. Death Scythe. Wait. Cleaval, Soldering, and Divine Smite. 5% chance to instantly kill enemies on hit, 1% for elites. The chances are doubled for critical hits. Yo, I've never seen this in my life. The Death Scythe? What? That's crazy. That's so cool. Uh, let's get the crit sense, yeah. I gotta see this, man. Okay. Wow. Let's do Crystal Sword, yeah. Yo, it's so cool! I've... I... Yeah, this game. Every time I come to play it, there's something, like, I've never seen. I... Uh, wow. Yeah. I love that. Let's use our active thing, too. Flood the screen. I love the animation, too. Oh, my. Uh, let's do Crystal Sword, yeah. Now it's maxed out. I, I can just kill everybody now, though. I need a magnet, yo. That's really what I need. I'm critting like crazy, too. 42 main damage. 78 main damage. I'm not bad at this. We don't need that. Device might more base crit sense. I'll take that. Let's go. We actually might have a pretty good damage run. Oh, yeah. With a basic rog run, we have eight more seconds left. Thank you. We definitely need to get our numbers a little bit higher, though, which is going to come from this power and critical damage in general. That's going to do so much damage. Wow. It's always active, too. Um, Reduce power, more attack speed? No. Reduce more power, yeah. Rank five of five. Alright, let's go this room now. Let's pop off. 187 main damage right there. Base power, base defense, balancing, base uh, shredding. Let's do that. I am like critting like crazy. I love seeing the like red highlighted doubles. Yeah, it feels so good. Let's uh, bring up my other evolution too. Well, we get to see some new evolutions, guys. When I originally stopped playing this game, I was so bad about getting evolutions. Now we just get them every run. 507 on that evolution. 399,000 damage. The knockback is crazy too. Wow. It might be one of my favorite fusions in the game right now. Um, More max health by a large amount. Which will increase my damage even more when we get that upgrade. 100% chance for shortens to be extracted. And my XP gains go up to 266% for the multiplier. Light spell, there we go, that's what I need for the sword. So I can get another little synergy, hopefully. More, oh, yeah, let's bring up the two. More purification. Get that going. I don't need that. Divine Smite's maxed out. Damaging an image with weapon slowly heals you by one percent of your max health per second. That's good. Let's do Book Home Yell. Pick up range goes down, but I get a lot more experience, yeah. Uh, same thing. So if I have more XP gain. Uh, Death Scythe, yeah. Um, more defense building, but corruption goes up by a lot. I'm gonna do it. My damage mitigation goes down though. Bundle spell. Nah, let's increase base pound the corruption will go up too. We can only get in this area. We should really max it out. I have almost 62,000 gold. Perfection, attack speed, and uh, power. Yo. Now we're just going in, you know? We're just, we're just going in. Um, we're directly back to full health and kills all enemies one time. Base power. Let's max out the weapon. Get that out of the way. Let's get an artifact out. 
raises your max health multiplier and power multiplier by 1% at the each, end of each day, so that's so good. You don't get that as early as possible, though. I'm gonna do perfection, yo. Alright, we have a mid boss. Oh boy. I'm gonna do blood candle, enemy count, and uh, base notification, all that goes up. Oh, I just ran into these guys. That was scary. Uh, perfection rank 3, more attack speed pal. Lose 25% of your pickup range. Uh, lost pickup range is controlled to final area at 10% ratio. So I get more area. Oh, it's gonna make my weapon so big. Let's do Thunder Spirit, yeah. Oh my. It's my things that look even cooler. Blood Spirit helps me for 1.50% now. My expanse has gone up too. I'm gonna do our uh, convulsion, yeah. Alright. What else can we do? Uh, upon killing elite, heal top percent of your health. What max health trees can cool down? Oh, we got eight heal boots. It doesn't have any crazy stats on it. You lose power multiple pull level up. That's awful. You don't want to do that. You want to gain stats over each level, and then you just want to go crazy with level. That's the best way to do it, guys. I'm gonna be honest, you Uh, I'm gonna do a uh, confusion convulsion to max it out. Let me use my active talent too. Wow, the projectile. I need to get fangs too, apparently. Yeah, and I have to survive for a minute and ten seconds. But well, we got the fangs. I need two more technically. We're, we're gonna get that. So I have to go pick it up. Alright, we got it. Um, my active skill is almost up again. My damage is looking good. Use my sink again. We're not doing like bands of damage, so we're only doing bands. Um, I'm do the blood one. I can't even see him, not even get into the screen. Almost 100,000 gold. Almost a brain damage rate, though. It was 816 man. Okay. Nice. Uh, lose three percent of your health and get the final damage. That's four thousand. Yo, that should do it now. Yep, that's about being. It was nine hundred thirty-four right though. We're going in. For that, I want the gold. There we go. Death scythe, one point twenty-seven main damage, eighty pulsing. Let's do flash here, get more health. Let's go to the shop now, we have over 100,000 gold. Um, I'm gonna do acid coating, yeah. I can buy acid coating too. Increase my power. I'm gonna increase my air. Get the shotgun to rank 6, yeah. Blood spark heals me for 2% of my max health now. I'm gonna get the bright crystal, yeah. Increase uh, gold gain. I might increase my attack speed by 50%. Sharp edge, more power, piercing goes up, area. We're not moving at 200% more damage and 50% damage mitigation, and I become immune to knockback. I want to get the potion now. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm going to buy the potion now. We lose 15% of the 300% whole stage that we go to. Plus 300% XP uh, gain, lose 50% gold gain though. Uh, let's get some defense building yield, corruption and damage mitigation. That was a sad thing. Okay, we have a elite room now. I'm gonna do perfection yield. Uh, get my silken maxed out. I'm gonna do thunder spell rank 4 5. Thunder spell is maxed out now. Wow, blood, I, I think we should wait on blood transfusion because like, we can get our health up and we should go crazy. Let's get Holy Convulsion. Let's get, ooh, Katana. I'll take Katana. Uh, Immovable Object Rank 2, so it does 250% power now. Rank up Kat Katana again. Let me use my active building. Katana, do more damage. I've already killed 15 champions. 
I'm gonna get more power, reduce my health regen, my XP gains. Actually, I'm gonna wait for that so I can keep leveling up. I'm gonna get um, Katana ranked up. Yeah, let's keep going for that. I got 5,000 gold right though. That was a quick stage. Uh, light spell is maxed out. 234% uh, purification multiplier. Actually, I want evasion. When you have more than three dashes ready, you can summon two to reduce damage by 99%. Also, caps the damage you received at 10% of your max health. Uh, blood spell. No, it's the, the light spell one, yeah. Okay. I should banish some more things too. Let's kill the yield to get the artifact. Kill 10% of your health at the end of stage. Didn't really care about that, but that's okay. Let's get blood spell yell. I heal two hundred uh two point fifty cent my ma max health now. Let's limit break the scythe if we can. I don't know if we have it maxed out. I don't think it's maxed out. What should I do then? Uh I could do Shelkin. I'll do Shelkin then. I, I should have waited though. Yeah, my I I would have the last rank I need right here was right though. That's my bad. Yeah, I messed up though. I can increase the time scale of my enemies and also increase my weapons attack speed by twenty five percent. That's good. Blood spell heals me for three percent of my max health per second now. Ice Nova. Oh, I'll do that. I can also summon ads myself now. Let's max out katana. Alright, let's go to the boss now. This is an easy boss now. Ooh! Wow! Evolution of Katana and Faust, but every slash now possesses AoE damage. That's a cool icon, too. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, look at that! I want to see the magic synergy, but I don't know what I'm missing for. I don't know. Just have to get these three articles done, and then the boss will come out. This was a good run. We got a lot of synergies and things, and we're just doing a lot of damage. Having a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying too. Man. Let's go get these down. Thank you. I just did two bang damage right though. As if that's a lot compared to the 454 train damage we did the final boss in all gunslinger run. That was that was poor hit too. That was, that was good. That was a good time. Alright. This is enjoyable though. I like builds where I can have a lot of weapons and just get projectiles going crazy. Let's do more max stuff here. Right, there's a reason why for that final damage upgrade. I'm gonna use my active ability here too. I still have saved it for when the boss comes out. I'm just flooding the screen here though. That's what I'm doing. Look at that. How does a boss survive that? I don't know. That's a lot of hits, man. You better be like a character of Naruto if you're trying to survive that, man. Like, good luck! Oh, man. There we go. Oh, yeah. And there's a health boy, there's a death and speed buff right there. So, if you go stand in this, it reduces his shield by a lot. And then you can just nuke him. And then he'll put another one down, which is already down, apparently. There we go. And then you'll reduce his health a little bit, and then he'll go heal, which is annoying. I don't know how you avoid him healing all the way, but he does. He's gonna die as soon as he comes back. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna do aiming you. I would, my attack speed goes down, but I get more power and everything. This is so fun. Shops contain more items. Cards and shops are better quality. Ooh, more health. Thank you. Uh, that's okay. It's not really that useful. Alright, one well, zone for now. This boss is annoying. I, I don't care for this boss at all. There's an end over that way to the left again. It's usually always on the left to the middle. It's never on the right from what I can tell. I'm gonna just walk my way up. My damage is probably going down quite a bit now with that negative 15% pull stage. Um, ice never yet. Wasn't really planning to get an Ice Nova, but we did. Huh. I don't know why the... Maybe I don't have my sword maxed out. What rank is my sword? It's 7. Uh, advanced call details. 
What do I need for Cleavor? Crystal Sword. Maybe if you use Cleavor on something, you can't get it. I've never had Sun Sword, though. I really want it. Huh. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe if you use a weapon for one thing, you can't use it again. So maybe I would have had to get Cleaver again or something. I don't know. I kind of wish you could, you know, get it though. Well, there's gotta be a reason. Um, at least we've seen some other things, like you know, the Death Scythe and all that. I'm gonna go up this way. Uh, kill monsters and survive the time. That's easy enough. Oh, I'm blowing guys up too. What's this do? More damage and attack speed? Yep. Uh, upon killing an enemy, there's a 20% chance to summon a eruption of magma that damages known by enemies. Only appeals in this area. Let's do it. There's also a potion area. I'm, I'm gonna take that real quick. I'm pretty sure it's a move speed one now, so it doesn't really matter that much, but I'll take it. I already have enough kills. So we just wait this out. We have to wait for the time limit, and that's really what we're doing now. We have a lot of money again, too. Gotta save some for the anvil, though. Only 6 million damage right now? Really? That's kind of lame. Huh. Alright. Let's go. 24 man, 28 man. This one's a 55 man. Nothing crazy. We should be in the barons already, technically. The certain things are just way better. Um, that would give me so much, but I want to keep increasing my health and all that. Base power goes up and base uh, defense pulsing. Uh, food increase your max up by 1.50% up to 300%. Dimension returns after 33 food pickups. Okay, thank you, game. Uh, the game gives you all the details you need to aiming you. I would say the order that you get some cards really matters too. Like those all the upgrades of the health one I still waited. I'm gonna kill some villagers, take those stuff, and then get five more crabs in too. They had a lot of cards on them. Upon killing elite and heal 16% of your health, I'm gonna get that done. Uh, I'm gonna increase the area size yo. Ice Nova gets some damage. I don't really like Ice Nova right now, but maybe it has a cool synergy that I don't know about. Taking damage increases your power multiple by 50% for 6 seconds, has a cooldown of uh, 12 seconds, that's really good. Uh, I still would damage you. Yeah. There's two boxes though, so no matter where I go, I get one. So you see a fire spell and light spell, let's go. Ice Nova. Maybe that's the one I needed for the sword. Oh wow, we're really blowing things up now. Slow down enemies on hit, 51%. That, well, that stage was uh, a quick one. We're over 100,000 gold now, too. Uh, that's cooldown. I should get rid of that other one. What artifact do I get? End the stage selection allows you to skip the next stage. I should do that to save my damage, but I think we'll just keep going. Let's increase my attack speed. Nah, let's get an ice never done. I could skip it. Might as well just go through at this point. Perfine. Now let's do the weapon. And then Ice Nova's maxed out. It's like a little like disco, if you think about it. With all the like the colors going on, man. There we go. It really is. I use my act ability too. You can see all the projectiles go crazy. No one's like even get on the screen. More air signs, thank you. They're dying on the edge. We already have 500 kills now. There's a gold ball right though. Here they go. I didn't see how much damage we did though. Uh, upon picking up food, increase the max health by 2.50%. I might get that. 8 man? 612 man? I'm getting close to the barons now. Alright. This is cool. The big rock guys are sick, man. Blood candle again, thank you. My XP is going crazy. Uh, defense feels saying, but damage mitigation goes down. I'll take that. So we can shred them. The more armor I don't have to worry about, the better. 
Blood Candle, rank 4-5. I have way over the kill amount I needed. We just have to live through the time limit now. Uh, more max health, thank you. Nice. That's a lot of gold, yeah. Each one's giving me like, wow. Uh, but if I can fire... That's so good. That increases your purification multiple each time you kill an enemy for like a limited time. I'm gonna go to the box once we go through a few of these kill zones right now. Use my active building. Actually, my active building doesn't have enough to use it. Let's banish you. Get you. Blood count is maxed out now. Full brain damage on that guy. Thank you, game. What a good time. Uh, Holy Convulsant. Definitely. I'm gonna use my active ability now. Should be saving up for the boss, but hopefully I'll be back up by time. Probably not, though, actually. Uh, Mind Corruption. Nah, let's do Close Blade. Then they'll max out one out, too. Uh, should I go to the shop? Yeah, let's go to the shop and stuff the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, profile Flame. Plus 3% XP gain. Gives you one free rarity reroll on a card selection. We first every two card selections. Uh, time scale 1 will give me attack speed. Defense... Yeah. Picking up all food attracts shield items, that's good. Shields you from all harm for 1.77 seconds after taking damage, does second cooldown. That doesn't like, last long. 1.77 seconds, really? Huh. Special dagger. Upon overcoming an enemy with special dagger, uh, that saves stranding enemies. Damage 50% of the enemy we killed, max health. Okay. Let's do convulsion, yo. Uh, I'm gonna get the black ring here for more move speed. Mainly to increase the purification. Well, uh, crabs, I should say. Each so called increase your damage by 1%. 94% damage increase. Okay. Taking damage to increase your moves by 50% for 6 seconds. Tossing cooldown. Let's get some of these now. Let's max you out. Upon breaking a crate, increase your area size by 10% for 15 seconds. Kept that 50%. And then let's go get this box right here. Then we go that way. I might have messed it up right here. Stop price will reduce by 50%. That's good. Um, Arcane Beam. I'm going to take Arcane Beam. Can I get over that way still? I might have messed up. I'm going to do the broken one here. Uh, get the broken from the young sculptor. What does it do? Multiply your soul coins by three, increase base sculpture by five for each stage. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, that's rough. Wow. Uh, let's do, uh, the katana, yo. Now we have a big arcane beam, too. Um. Frenzy. I'll take Frenzy. I moved, so I actually did less damage right there. I'm gonna do Mind Corruption now. They have a lot of health. Mind Corruption again, thank you. Increase that Corruption. Arcane Beam got ranked up. We went from having like a lot of projectile builds, uh, weapons, to like having a lot of uh, magic weapons now. Katana. We have a lot of melee weapons too. It's a very real build I'm doing. Oh wow, we're spamming. Arcane Beam again, thank you. More max health. Let's do Katana Yell. Uh, Mind Corruption. We'll do Black Wing. Uh, Broken Demon Horn's really good for damage, but I'm just waiting on it. Let's do Frenzy Yell. I'm gonna banish the healthy one. Weapon defense, base power, but bait current sense goes down. <sighs> Some of that's okay. But, we'll max off. Corrosion? Let's do that. That's the final rank of it. 
Let's do Pilsing. More corruption. This is crazy. More power. Like, my damage numbers are going wild now. They're tanky, too. They're very tanky. More power. Uh, actually, that hit, that increased my ma more health. So I'm gonna do that. More health. Uh, I don't need that. I don't. More attack speed would be good. Actually, I'm gonna take that. Because I don't have defense, so that's my if I take it. Okay, beam must get you upgraded. This guy's right on top of me. Okay, we killed him in time. We're good. They're like running up next to me. Arcane Beam again. This looks so cool though. It does. Like, this is a war zone. We're in the middle of a war zone right now, guys. I'm gonna use my activability. If it actually goes off. It did. Okay, we're good. It's probably really like it too. Lunatic. A lot of damage. My defense goes down, corruption goes up. My air size goes up too. Oh, we're about to go in. Um. More damage, yep. Now this is how you play the game. Uh, Spikes with Dagger. Thank you. Bands of damage. Wow. That was something. Holy Cross. More scales or cross. Pick up max self. Power. Everything you pretty much want. Um... More base pills defense, thank you. Let's go to the anvil now. We definitely have to do scythe, right? Definitely have to do scythe. Um, what was it? Yep. Yeah. Wow, it's gonna do twenty three million. Wow. Each band still calls increase your base power by zero point twenty five. Add new crit chance by one percent. That's good. Let's go ahead and get the summon one out. So when we kill guys, we can summon guys. Heal 15% if you health and you level up. Gain 5% damage multiple for every second you stay at less than 50% of your health. Kept at 200% damage. Oh, grab it, but I don't think we need it. Uh, final boss. This guy's really annoying. More base power. This is the one that with the hands where you like, you can, it doesn't take damage for a bit, but he just like starts smacking for you like with the eight hands he has. This is really annoying. If you don't have defense or like some type of way of reducing your damage taken, definitely can kill you. Hopefully I don't just die. Because I, I have realized that these enemies are all very tanky now. Also, like, I don't know what's going on with like the explosions and everything, but we have like created a wall zone, you know? Like, we'll just end that deep now. It, it's cool though. I like it. Full burn damage, cool, thank you. We have one more auto down here, let's go get it. Yeah. We're going in. I get 56,000 damage if I take that. I've just been increasing my damage so I don't take it, so we can pop off. I should take it though. I should. There we go. Then it moves you up. That was lava and everything. It is a cool stage, I'll say that. I'm gonna use my active talent. And we just blasted. I'm not taking damage. Oh, I'm taking damage. Oh. I think we're good. I think we're good. We just avoid. I, 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 if it crashes on me, that'd be lame. Okay, we killed him. <laughs> Yo, know, the area size is so wild. Yo. Moose speed also increases your attack speed by once in 26.2%. Okay then. I'm gonna do Lunatic Yo. Wow, that's, that's wild. That's maxed out. Defense pull level? Two things for defense pull level. Well, I guess if you need defense, there you go. Alright, final stage. Let's go. We have to go out. We have to get the Scythe maxed out again right though. I don't know if you can max things out twice, though. Um, let's go get another artifact, why not? Oh wait, did I just skip to that stage? I didn't mean to. I, I went to the kill room, right? Pretty sure I did. I am going crazy now. Wow. 
Uh, it's very blending, so I do apologize for that. Special Dago, rank 2. I said I already got rank 2. Where's these guys at? Well, actually, I do less damage if I move. So. Yeah. Also, so happy we got increased area. Um, Mind Corruption, thank you. Let's get the chest now. Doubles your damage, but your max health goes down. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that... That is good. Let me do blitz, can you? That is good. But I don't, I don't want to take it yet. I, I don't want to take it yet. I want to get the final damage. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to leave. I, I want it. Trust me, guys, I want it. But I want to get the final that, that health upgrade before we take that. Also, I'm going to say... Forget the XP now. Let's go into damage. Let, let's do that. I'm going to level up a lot slow though now. That's the next thing. So we make sure we get the upgrades that we want. I, I do realize I'd be doing a lot of damage if I did take that though. Don't get me wrong. I, we are just blowing the whole screen up. Like this is who you send in to wipe out like civilizations. L literally. Like. Each stage we've gone to, well each zone. Has been a civilization. Those are, those are dead. Like, wiped them out. Um, there we go. I mean, like, yeah. There we go. 66,000 damage. I'm doing it. I'm doing transit damage now. Now I want to double my damage. Little base pal, thank you. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's. That's amazing. You can't even see anything. Look at that. So cool. Uh, more max health. Thank you, game. Wow, that health upgrade is wild. I don't know if I if I if I reduce my health now, but take away from that, it's done it right because I already have it. That's that's one thing I'm wondering about now. Honestly. Also my active talent isn't filling up as quick either, which is kinda lame. Um more power. I think it's really laggy right now. I'm just nuking everything. More health, yeah. Stage is well. That stage actually lasted a while. I think the enemies were spawning in very silly because of lag. More damage, reduced defense because we don't have any defense yet. Uh, kill a bunch of guys. Trans damage. I mean, trans damage. Double edged sword again. That guy took three strain damage. Each build we do is so exciting. It's so exciting. Nice. More health? I have so much health. There we go. Next stage, please. Um, Queen's Blood. Increase your max health multiple by 2% for each level. Wow, I should have waited. Increase it by... Wow. Imagine how much damage I would have now, then. I messed up, guys. I forgot that this that card was on this level. Look at my health! Increase your time scale. Only builds in this area. So. I use my active talent, too. It's 7.50% for my time scale now. There was so much going on. I apologize for all the flashing, too. It's a lot. There we go. Uh, Queen's Blood. Specs of Dago, I think that's maxed out. Let's go to this unknown area. Oh, it's a shot. I'm gonna do Queen's Blood Yell. Increase monster amount by 20%, reduce monster health by 20%. 100% health region. Can't exceed 200% of your max health. Okay. That's a lot. 
Um, time scout. What do we have, y'all? Anchorage called quality during elite stages. So we already had that. More attack speed. I was trying. Oh, a limit break silver. There we go. I get the envy one for more expanse. The damage does pretty good. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Wait. That's good too. That's not too crazy. Defense building is good. The area size would be solid. Corruption would go up, actually. Holy Convulsion? I want that. That's a lot. I get a lot of health too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Probably the most health I've ever had. Um. Okay. I'm gonna skip you. I still not skipped actually. Stone Hall increase your max health by four hundred percent. Damage by twenty five percent. Health reaching by nine. What is going on? Decrease your food healing though. We're going in. Yeah. There we go. Uh, more attack speed reduced. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. We, we, we literally walked in that stage and deleted them all. Wow. Okay. Um. More power. Thank you. Let's go to the unknown area. Maybe get something good. Meditate. It upgraded my crossbow to the way. I mean, I guess that's fine. I mean, you know. Unknown. We have a bunch of unknown areas coming up. Um. More attack speed. I'll max that out. I get more summons now. Half goes up. Um. Let's get rid of you. More base power. Thank you. Base power is really good, by the way, guys. More power. There we go. So the anvil's in the middle. That's something we gotta keep in mind. That max health. Blood coat, I'll take that. I should have read inside a little bit more, actually. Do we need to go? I don't know if we can go that way. We might have messed up, yo. Uh, I'll gamble 25%. I lost money. Yeah, that's why you don't gamble, guys. There we go. Okay, we, we can get that, Will. What's this do? Oh, more crit chance and critical damage. Thank you, game. Oh, we're gonna do a lot of damage then. Like, thinking about it. 17 train damage, yeah. Uh, we want more base power. 9 train damage. I can't see anything either, though. I use my active ability. 35 train damage. I wonder how much we're gonna hit the boss for. There we go. I definitely plan this one out a little bit better, but like, now I know that like a lot of the health things can be convulted. You just wait to get those convulsions, upgrades. Just max out health and just get crazy with it. They're the best thing to do. Oh yeah, my damage is really good. I just saw 67 train. You know what? This build ended up being way better than what I saw it would be. And that is really good in itself. So tank train. More base defense appeal sync. Wow. I... I've killed 14,000 guys in here. Base power goes up, reduce XP gain. Um, I'm gonna increase my base power, yeah. Like, that's cool. Actually, maybe that upgrade would've been good. I just don't wanna reduce my XP gain like that, but we're about to be on the final area. Uh, reduce champion boss health by 7%, so... Head bash, I'm gonna do that. Base power goes up by a lot. There we go, we have 101 in the base power. Anvil time, then we hit the final boss, guys. Um, Arcane Beam. Wait, 1.4 billion damage? That's way more, wait, that's way more than that. Wow. 
Uh... Oh, I should do Katana. Yep. Alright, I don't have enough money. Let's go. That was on me, though. I should have got the double damage one. So someone's gonna come with that, too. I know, guys. I, I think, you know, without taking that double damage one, I think I think we did good, still. Like, we got a lot of damage out of it. Because I converted the health into damage. I, I think that was a small idea, really. Like, both options are good. I don't think my damage would have been doubled into much. I think I got more out of the health into power value, in my opinion. I don't see damage numbers. Oh, I think they... Oh, no, she's doing her thing. Yeah, we, we can't see... I'm, I'm sorry about the the flash. The flash bang. I don't know how much damage we did either, which is really lame. I'm actually really disappointed. Yeah. That's really sad. I, I, I killed the boss, though. Um, That's sad. I didn't see how much damage I did to the boss. Oh, we got an ATL item, though. Oh, pretty good one, Max Self. Well, I don't like the power aspect at the bottom. Well, there we go. That was a really good run. How much damage did we do? 85? You know what? It's better than the Rogue run. Like, actually, by a lot. Like, what did the most damage? I think it's... Oh, Crossbow did a lot. Crossbow did a lot of damage. Void did a lot. I'm guessing it's Death Scythe. No, it's not. Huh, I'm surprised by Death Scythe not doing more. That is really odd. Okay. Really? Well, I mean, it was still a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's run. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I do appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see future videos come out soon. Have a great day and stay safe. I'll catch you guys next time. Game still out.